Dingo pictures, what? No. More like stupid pictures. Oh my god, this company sucks. Let me give you the reasons why I hate this company in my opinion. 1. It has crappy animation. It's indescribable. The animation itself is incredibly choppy and only moves at a few frames per second throughout every one of their films. It's like it was done in 5 minutes. 2. Some of their films and characters in them are complete or rip-offs or stolen from famous film companies and animators, like Walt Disney and Don Bluth. 3. It has extremely low film budgets, which clearly shows. 4. Lack of a wide variety of voice actors, since there are only around one or two actors in any of the movies. In fact, the English dub of Peter Run Dare Wolf titled Peter vs. the Wolf, they didn't even dub it. They instead just overplayed a reading of the original story of it by Wilfred Pickles over the original movie and edited it so it can go along with it. 5. It has awful voice acting, many of the actors show little emotion, mispronounce words, and there are frequent flubs that aren't fixed. 6. The lip syncing for all of their films is practically non-existent, as it doesn't even sync up with the audio. 7. It has terrible editing as some sounds play too early or too late, as well as certain characters having parts of their design disappear. In one of their films, cell phone interference can be heard in the background and another film, a bug can be seen crawling on the screen. In Elaine, you can actually hear one of the actors turning the page of the script after reading one part. Also, some of their films have visible garbage area. 8. It has tons of characters and assets are recycled constantly in every one of their films, with little change except their clothes colors or small details. 9. Most of their movies are comprised of filler, with the plot taking a while to get along or even start. 10. Despite translating their films into English, there are some cases where signs and even vehicles remain in their original language. 11. The English translation usually has mild profanity even though these movies were made for kids. The most common swear words in these movies are damn and hell. However, these words are not considered profanity in other languages, so it's understandable. But... The English dub of Wabu the Cheeky Raccoon made by Art Media actually has a scene where a character says shit, which unlike damn or hell, is not okay for a kid's movie. 12. The storyline of their movies can range from extremely dark to downright idiotic. For example Janice the Little Pig is probably the darkest dingo movie. It actually has a part in the story where Janice is sent to a slaughterhouse, where there's a scene where you can see a dead pig. The ending is nothing better, the film ends with Janice leaving the farm and living with an old pig in the forest, abandoning her brothers and his mother on the farm. King of the Animals is an example of a pretty stupid dingo movie. The whole plot is about a bunch of animals arguing and fighting over a mine of diamonds that they found in the jungle. Why would the animals need diamonds? The sequel, King of the Animals 2, commonly known as Lion and the King, is also quite dumb. And 13. The cover art for their movies outside of Germany is usually misleading, as they usually look completely different to the actual product. And that's why I hate that company. And you want to watch good animated CGI movies better than these? Go watch movies made by Disney, Walt Disney Animation Studios, Pixar Animation Studios, DreamWorks Animation SKG, Warner Animation Group, Sony Pictures Animation. Paramount Animation, Illumination, Warner Brothers Animation, Blue Sky Studios, and Locksmith Animation. They're way better than this company. Thank God this company shut it down in 2021. I don't know who likes this company. But who hates this company? Wallace and Gromit forever. He made a rant on this company. So screw Dingo Pictures. And screw Spark Plug Entertainment. Paramount Animation is 214,000 times better than Dingo Pictures. End of rant.